Okay guys, so this is going to be another one of my videos. I haven't made one in quite some time and I've started to notice a trend and that is that uh, it seems that I change my hairstyle a lot and it, I guess it has to do with the time gaps in between each video and I'm sorry if I'm talking kind of awkwardly. Um, my family's upstairs uh, this way up there and uh, it's kind of awkward but anyway today I just wanted to talk about um, being alone uh, many of us feel like we're alone with DR derealization or depersonalization and it's actually not at all true um, of course you know me you've seen a few of my videos hopefully and you know that uh, you know obviously I've gone through it too but there are actually many many people who do go through derealization and depersonalization and it's actually uh, it's actually extremely, extremely common. Um, I went through it before, uh, before I had the extended period of going through it. Um, I had it, I didn't have it. What I would do is like if I was bored or something, I would be like, whoa, my name's Christian Herrera. Now that's me. And then I would just keep going back and back and it would be like, oh my gosh, and this is my house and this is where I live like this is mine you know and it would just like it would kinda go on for a little while and back then it, it wasn't terrifying like it would it felt weird like it felt really weird but um, it wasn't at all scary so many of us have gone through that feeling in fact most of us have and also further proof is how how many I've, how many people I've dealt with and all the different websites and youtubers and uh, there was even a uh, uh, this guy on the Today Show. Uh, it was a long time ago, but uh, he he had it too, and he had depersonalization, and he was announcing it to the world. You know, there's help and whatever. But I've literally helped. Uh, gosh, I have lost count. I would say probably around 30, 30 people maybe, and. Um, of course, over time, I lose touch with those people, so I can't tell if all of them are cured, but I have kept up with at least six of them who have been cured, and I know a few who uh, who feel definitely better, and for me, I'm not going to try to get too far into a different subject, but for me, one of the parts that really helped me with the realization was realizing that I was making progress, like... Uh, I would feel it really, really bad one day, and then the next day I would feel a lot better. Um, not necessarily a lot better, but I would definitely feel a difference between those days. And I would feel like, okay, uh, so I've made a little bit of progress, so that obviously means that it's possible to make more progress and eventually be cured. So, yeah, but uh, basically I just wanted to say... Um, you're not alone at all. This is a very common occurrence, and uh, there are, in fact, a lot of people who go through it who might not know what they're going through, or people who are like me and didn't want to acknowledge it. <laughs> um, I didn't want to acknowledge it at all for a really long time, because uh, this is a very bad and unhealthy process, and it's only a band-aid solution, really. But basically what I did was I just pretended like it wasn't there. And it did work for a little while. What I would do is um, uh, immediately when I had uh, when I had thoughts of it coming back, I would just push it out of my mind immediately, and it worked until the next time that I smoked weed, <laughs> which kind of ruined it. But um, that's not a very healthy exercise at all because uh, it doesn't get to the root of the problem. It can work for a little bit, but really in the long run, it's much better to realize that it's just anxiety and that you can get over it and then there are, and that there are plenty of people who did because for me I mean I'm just an average guy like as far as I know I'm just average average looking average house average computer um, just average and when I read an article of some guy who like got also got cured which is also the art article that cured me um, I thought I thought of this person as oh one of the lucky people that got cured but then when I got cured I was like wow I'm I'm actually not lucky like this is just it's a fact and it's like it's a fact that 
you can get over it just the way that I did and it's a fact obviously that I got cured so anybody can get cured you don't have to be special in any way anybody can get cured even you yes you I'm talking to you and I'm talking to you like this rather than saying oh you guys in general or you know I'm talking to you because I know you can get cured too but um, anyway there you go um, I will not be giving out my Skype information in this video because I've gotten way too many requests and I've gotten pretty tired of talking to people but um, I can still talk to you on Facebook uh, I think I'm gonna be taking a break from it for a little while <sighs> Um, I'm going to be taking a break for, from it for a little while, from helping people out. Probably just a week, that's all. But um, after that week is over, I'll be back talking to people on Skype and such. So anyway, thank you very much for watching. And just the summary of this video overall is that... Um, what was it? What was I talking about earlier in this video? <laughs> um, oh yeah, people. Uh, everybody goes through it. It's a very common occurrence, and you're definitely not alone in it. I mean, just imagine a big, giant, like, state, like a state the size of Texas, just filled with people who can relate to you on this. Like, that's pretty much, that's pretty much um, how many people could help you out. I mean, there's just tons and tons and tons and tons of people out there who can help you out. Um, but anyway, thank you very much for watching, and I hope to hear from you guys soon. Oh, by the way, um, comments are really good, too. You can go back and watch the comments from the previous videos. And uh, in the comment section, there's people helping out. It's, like, it's really cool because it's like a little tiny community of people like helping each other out. So you can go look at the comments and, you know, ask someone this and ask them that, and you're actually much more likely to get a response from them than you are from me. But I'll also be responding to questions because I like to do that. But anyway, uh, thank you very much for watching again, so I hope to hear from you soon. Bye.